Hi my friends, today we model this part which has some interesting features and we try to respect all of them because we have a drawing of course. I work a lot to create these drawings my friends. I want you to see something here. This is radius 50 with this center. And this is concentric with this. Distance of 10. No dimension for this R. Okay. We start by creating this contour around here to here we start by creating this line at 15 degrees with a length of 46 centered on the center point to have uh, an idea about the dimensions start standard millimeters IPT new sketch X, Y plane, line, it has the center and the center point. I project the Y axis, the vertical axis, which must be construction lines as well as the other one. The angle of 15 and the length of 46. I change this dimension here. Then the contour. We draw lines. I start from here, up, keep press the left button, go here, then this point, again, keep press the left button, go somewhere here, Keep press the left button and go here. Well, this point center is uh, coincident with this. This point is here, the other one is coincident here, tangent this two and dimensions this is radius 20 this is radius 12 and parallel this line with this line and let's see if we can place also parallel. This we can. This is longer. It goes here. And I continue with other lines which are arcs. This is an arc, a small arc. Then I keep press the left button, a larger one horizontal, down, right, now keep press the left button and go up my friends, up, you see, go here and keep press the left button to go here, these two points are coincident as I told you, 
for these two arcs. This is coincident with the other one. Other dimensions. This is 10. This is 13. This radius is 50. The distance between this line and the center point is 50. This is also 50. You know that this is 3, the radius. Take a look here. I, I don't need to apply a radius 3 here. And we consider also this uh, indication. Undimensioned fillets are radius 3, including this one. This is 5, and we have three dimensions needed. What are the dimensions? Let's see. Apply. This is a different radius than here will make them equal and this point this is a tangency I missed it remove done tangent between this arc and this line this is parallel with this equal this arc with this arc and now only one dimension is missing let's see what is that dimension apply oh yes this is 110 dimension from this to the center point or to this line is 110 Good, we have a fully constrained sketch, finish sketch, and you see 50 is the uh, width. We apply extrude with the value of uh, 50. Okay. We continue with uh, this uh, spherical shape which has the radius 35 and the center in the center point my friends this is the center point you see this here or this here to create that feature we select this face for a new sketch I have to cut, to delete all this and you can uh, ask me why these uh, lines appear in my drawings. I remember you that using Alt F I we invoke application options and we can select the sketch tab and I place here auto project edges for sketch creation and edit. I always keep checked uh, this option and uh, this is why we have that lines automatically. 
Good. I eliminated also the center point. So I project it as you can see. We need this point to create a circle with the radius 35. Then I draw a vertical chord. I place it coincident with the center point and I trim half of the circle. This will be a, a center line finish sketch revolve but not 30 360 but 180 not this direction but the other direction okay now we have to create this uh, wall. Dimensions are here 40 minus 13 if I use this face. Radius 20 and the thickness of 10. Let's do this. I select this face. You see the contour. I can apply construction if I need to have this drawing these lines as you can see now then tab 40 minus 13 then extrude to the part okay now I apply fillet of 20 here and since we have this prescription all fillets of 3 I take advantage to be here and uh, I place three to apply many have fillets of three as you can see I hope I didn't miss anyone this is automatically you know from the drawing Okay, this part has a cavity, you see here, it is uh, a revolution feature with dimensions here, radius 31 spherical and 25 diameter of a cylinder. We use this plane F7 to create a circle with a radius of 31 and some lines. One is this, then up then to the circle a horizontal or perpendicular on this face line trim this and this oh We project this face in 
entirely because we have to trim this, this and this. I make this uh, center line, I place the diameter of 25 and I have a fully constrained sketch. Revolve with cut not 180 but the full circle. Okay. Now the holes. The holes are four. One, two, three, four. Three, four. With same characteristics. Uh, diameter of 11 of the counterbore. Five is the depth of that counterbore. Then 6.6 .6 through dimensions 20 20 75 20 and here 46 let's do this i select this face and i go back to the first sketch I make it visible because I want to project this line then I make not visible but I keep the line you see I place point one is up and one is down hole I already used this dimension so they are present here so I apply OK then I select this face I place two points one two and dimensions This is 20. The other is also 20. These dimensions from here to the center point. I can select the center point from here. Is 75. And the last one is 20 also 20 finish sketch hole okay <laughs> that's all yes look everything is in place let's see what about the volume I properties physical update copy close drawing double click and final one three eight and a small difference here maybe I forgot a fillet or something you know what I did here so we keep the last dimension which is this one we go to the part we apply the material which is steel cast steel cast the aspect 
is also still cast. I apply a view shaded. I also apply some other aspects to these faces. You can add other aspects still polished you see still polished that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye